everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to another day of devotions as we are continuing our sermon series, Treasure. And it's a stewardship series as we are considering what does constitute our treasure? What do we place uh, value in? And today we're going to be looking at a passage of scripture that's a warning. So I'm giving you a warning. Here's some words from Jesus. For you and for me. It comes from Matthew chapter 6 verses 1 through 4. This is what Jesus says. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Ouch. <laughs> this is one of those passages of Scripture um, that really speaks to me personally. Um, it speaks to me personally because, you know, I'm, I'm in the public. Um, I am in front of people. I, you know, I, I don't consider um, my worship time with you on Sundays as performance, but in some ways, honestly, it is. It's performing um, rituals. It's performing um, giving the word of God to the people of God. Um, and so I really do, um, at times, I love it. Um, and I love the affirmations that I receive, but that is not, as Jesus says, that should not be the reason for doing what I do. Um, when I make a gift, it is to do it out of love for God and love for others. Um, I also come from a family where, you know, my husband, is a performer, you know, and boy, howdy, does he shine when he's in front of others. And yes, he gives out of his mission uh, to bring laughter and joy to others, but we get something back from that, don't we? Um, so anyway, this passage of scripture that talks about giving, um, where we're giving our alms, which is, you know, the gifts for the poor, you know, the things that we're giving out of our abundance so that others might know it. We don't, uh, Jesus says, don't give those to bring attention to yourself. Instead, give it out of a heart of love. And I think in my life that that is one of the things that uh, God is continuing to speak to me about what are my motives for my giving. Um, I feel like I am a giver, um, and yet there's times when my motivations for giving may not be as pure as I want them to be. It may be so with you as well. As we give, let's think today about the ways in which we are called to give, not to receive recognition or affirmation of others, though that is wonderful um, when it happens, appreciated, but that we give glory to God. That's the reason that we want to give, is out of a heart that loves God with everything we are and everything that we do, and that loves our neighbor um, as we do love ourselves. And so today, how will you give? How will you give? What will be your motivation for giving? Is it to be recognized by others or is it to give out of a heart that is set more fully on God? Will you join me in prayer today as we offer ourselves to God and our gifts that we give? Loving and gracious God, we give you thanks today for the recognition that we have of our own ways in which the motives that come out of our hearts um, affect our giving. And so I pray, God, today that you would help us to recognize that we do fall short, and yet you love us and you call us into that deeper love. Help us to love ourselves and to receive your grace, to give and love others as you have loved us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.